Hey guys, today I'll be playing a game in my Renegade and uh, yeah, it seems that uh, I've been given quite a decent or pretty nice matchmaking. So um, let's see what we can do. Now the Renegade uh, is basically like a pattern at high rate, only better with the armor, with the gun, with everything. So um, it's a tank that uh, doesn't have the same uh, alpha damage or pen. But other than that, it's better in every respect than the pattern, one tier higher. So, at high rate, this tank can chew gum and, uh, yeah, and kick ass at the same time. So, let's see what we can actually do. So, the first shot into the, that uh, pretty optimistic ELC, I must say. That was a pretty optimistic guy. And as you, you know, just saw, this tank can actually uh, bounce a few shots. So it does have the armor to actually be reliably good at fighting. And right now we're actually going to put this to the test. By uh, yeah, firing at this. Oh, there's an entire flank. Um, this is going to be a real fight. Do I think that they made a mistake by just going all on the same spot? That means that I don't really have to worry. And this guy has uh, yeah, figured it out figured it out right now, but hopefully we'll be able to actually shoot shoot everyone on this side and uh, put some more pressure on the enemy tanks. So as you just uh, as you can see, the tank does has has some really nice uh, DPM. Oh come on! Should have just taken the shot. Come on! Stop hiding. Okay, fair enough. That was an important shot because I do need to focus on the other side. Uh, this, I have to say that this is kind of an ideal uh, type of matchmaking for this tank. It's absolutely ideal. A lot of newbies. And the armor is actually working for a change. Just a tiny touch. Come on, come on, stay over there. Are you serious? They just bounce over the side of a Juto. Okay. Good. Some decent marksmanship so far. Let's see if we can actually hit this some more. Just pull back a little bit. No? Okay, I think I don't need to stay in front of every other last uh, enemy tank that's on this side and uh, also the art is uh, starting to piss me off. No? Okay, let's not get too caught out. Uh, just just a tracking shot for now hopefully I'm gonna get the second one yeah a lot better another tracking shot and now he's dead fair enough uh, just maybe that was a bit of a mistake from my side Damn, that APCR is pretty effective from this uh, M6. Okay. From my side as well. I have to say over here. And there's the Somua. I don't know. It seems like it's Christmas over here. They're all lining up. 
get shot at. No. I should win this pretty nicely. Let me see if I can... Oh. Oh, come on. This for real. Okay. I mean, uh, if you're gonna just stay over there, I'm not gonna complain too much. And, uh... Ah, oh, just bad shot over here. Just a little bit of bad mar marksmanship at my for my end. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Just don't do that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. That's all she wrote. Come on. Still, I have to say that was a pretty decent result. In the, um, in the Renegade. So, um, yeah. In a good matchup, the Renegade will absolutely destroy its opposition. And I think that you saw it over here. So, um, every few months, I think Wargaming is uh, putting the Renegade up for... Um, to be bought. Uh, and um, it's one of those tanks that I truly, truly um, advise you to, to consider strongly. Because it's a uh, super competitive tank in uh, uh, equal time tire games. And um, it's also decent when it's not top tire. So, admittedly, this was a perfect type of matchmaking. But then again, if you don't take those type of games, then uh, yeah, you know go over. And you saw that at the end, I didn't have the best marksmanship. So, I'm not going to blame it on RNG. I was just uh, not aiming properly, let's see. But uh, yeah, the the Renegade. It's, I mean, what can you what can you say? High caliber, Confederate mastery badge, uh, firing twenty eight shots, hitting nineteen, uh, pending sixteen. So basically, firing non stop almost uh, in the tank, and also making quite a bit of profit at the end. Now let's talk a little bit about the stats of this tank. So the tank does have a pretty nice alpha damage of three sixty. And the best thing about it, that the, uh, the the average damage per minute is absolutely great. So it's 2.7 over here. And this is also paired with some crazy good dispersion values for a heav heavy tank that has already the 360 alpha damage. And the 8 seconds gun, gun loading, it's pretty comfortable. And you also have to do 26 uh, average pen. So you have the whole package over here. The gun's travel speed is not bad at all. The gun depression is pretty decent, the aim time is absolutely great for a heavy with 360 alpha damage. Um, you have 1500 hit points, you have quite nice turret armor except for this weak point on top, so be careful on that one, but it's not as horrible as on the uh, uh, pattern tank one tire above. You have the boat sh shaped hull over here that will uh, bounce a few shots, especially if you manage to wiggle a little bit the um, uh, the tank or the the uh, lower the lower part of the tank and uh, yeah the turret armor is great like I said the hull armor it's okay and it's well rounded well shaped on the front so if you can use the gun depression you'll be able to you'll be able to bounce quite a number of shots and uh, you'll make your uh, horrible weak point on top a little bit harder to hit also you can move your uh, gun to, to try and do that. The weight limit is not. It's pretty good for a heavy tank, and you also have good uh, specific power to weight ratio with good engine power and the 45 top speed, which can be improved through uh, some field modes. Yeah. Um, and talking about field modes, I do have over here the speed increase, the um, reduction to the aiming circle size because you already have some good enough aim time. So I do like to be a little bit more uh, accurate with my guns, and then you, I increase the view range just a little bit because I do have, I do like to spot my uh, targets. So on the spotting field, it's 476, which is good enough to actually spot everything that you're facing at this tire. 
Um, camo is yeah not existing because it's a heavy tank. The view range already talked about. The shell cost. Let's uh, take a look. So the shell cost isn't cheap. It's 1,000 per shot, but it's pretty decent. And the 440 uh, over here isn't the worst. I've seen even 550 or 440 credits for a 240 uh, alpha shell, which is pretty bad in my opinion. The high explosive don't even. I should even use less of those, and maybe increase the the premium rounds over here in case I need them. Um, on the crew side, this is probably my best American crew, and uh, I basically have the brother in arms repairs because it's going to be needed. Uh, camo don't. Uh, I just put put it probably at some point. Um, it's it's not required so. The recon is important, the situational awareness can be important, the firefighting is pretty good in every tank that you can uh, have, the armorer, well, it's good to have, it's something uh, extra. Um, dead eye, yeah, at the end, then you have the preventive maintenance which is important, the off-road driving is also important in a heavy tank, try and increase that, um, uh, and also in combination with the smooth ride to try and increase that mobility. Clutch braking increases the traverse speed, which is pretty decent in my tank. I have the repairs and then the adrenaline rush because I like to have this on every tank that I have. And I uh, recently came to the conclusion that intuition is not a useless spark, so I'm trying to put it on most of my tanks. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's a tank that uh, yeah I do have pretty decent uh, in how many. One second. So in the Renegade I have 60 battles with 58% win rate and as you can see it's one of my highest uh, experience performers uh, in the game and yeah, it just works. It's a tank that I do like to play from, some, from time to time, not necessarily always, but uh, whenever I feel that I'm not really playing all that great in my other tanks, this is a good bet. So if you can uh, buy it from the store yeah, just go for, go for it and buy it. So, uh, let me see what tanks are in the store at this point. Yeah, I didn't saw anything special. So anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's a thumb, thumbs up for me for this tank. And if you can use uh, a Santa type of, or a Christmassy type of uh, camo, why not? Go for it and uh, you do you. So uh, thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.